another integral battle. Here we have the integral of 1 over x to the fourth power plus x. The other one, we have the integral of 1 over x squared times the parentheses x to the fourth power plus 1 inside, and then raised to the 3 over 4 power. You may be wondering, these two integrals, they look totally different. Why did I put them together in this video, right? Well, I'm not going to say too much about it. Please pause the video and give them a try. Alright, so even though these two integrals, they look completely different, but the method that we're going to do them are very similar. Okay, so let's look at the first one, the integral of 1 over x to the fourth power plus x. The usual strategy is, let's factor out the denominator, we can factor out an x. And then we have x times the parentheses, x to the third power plus 1, and then you can keep factor the x third power plus 1, right? And then you do partial fraction after that. That is not what we're going to do, okay? Here is another way to look at this. Instead of factoring out the x, can we factor out x to the fourth power instead? Sure, why not? Let me show you. And keep in mind, a method is a method, a way is a way, an answer is an answer, and this is going to be definitely a good answer, okay? So I'm going to factor out an x to the fourth power. On the top, we still have 1 over, here we will put down the x to the fourth power, and what should I put down inside here? Well, originally I have x to the fourth power, I factored it out, so I have 1, right? But then, originally, I only have x to the first power. I need 3 more, so that's negative, plus x to the negative 3. Can I do that? Yeah, because if you multiply in x to the fourth power times x to the negative 3, you still get the x right here, okay? dx. And I'm not going to do partial fraction. I'm going to bring this up to the numerator. You see, this is going to be integral bring this up, we get x to the negative fourth power, and then this is over the denominator, which is 1 plus x to the negative 3 power dx. And now what? We can secretly do u substitution right now. That u equals to the denominator, and everything will work out nicely. So let's put down u is equal to the whole denominator, which is 1 plus x to the negative 3 power, and then I'm going to split through this. du is going to be negative 3 x to the negative 4 dx, and we know dx is going to be du over that, which is negative 3 x to the negative 4. And now I can take this integral into the new world. You see this is integral. On the top, we have x to the negative 4 over the bottom is u, and dx is that. So we can put down du over negative 3 x to the negative 4. What's so good about this? This and that cancel each other out precisely. And then to integrate this, don't forget we have the 1 over negative 3. So let's put it outside first. 1 over negative 3. And then this is integral of 1 over u du. And then what's the integral of 1 over u? Well, that's ln absolute value of u. So altogether, this is negative 1 third ln absolute value of u. But then what's u? u is that. So put it back, we're done. Altogether, negative one third, ln absolute value, and let me write it down: one plus x to the negative three, absolute value. The inside could be negative, so we still have to have the absolute value. At the end, we are done. So put a plus d, and you can definitely box the answer right now. And we're done. This question has a story. This question happens to be one of the questions on the MIT Integral B. It's got a minute left. It's plenty of time. Okay, you can check out the link down below in the description. But then, this is how you are going to do it. We can factor out the bigger power inside right here, and everything will work out nicely. And let me show you. So I'm going to put it down right here. This is the integral. On the top, we still have 1. On the bottom, right here, we still have the x squared. But the inside here, let's focus on the inside here, okay? I'm going to factor out x to the fourth power. So let me put down x to the fourth power. Well, originally I have x to the fourth power. I factored it out already, so I have 1. This was 1, so I need negative 4. So that's plus x to the negative 4. 
and this is still in the parentheses, and then this is still to the 3 over 4 power. Okay? Hopefully you guys can still see this. Um, sorry, this is not enough space. But anyways, let's keep, let's keep going. Integral, this is 1 on the top over x squared still x squared. This time, once we factor it out, we will do x to the 4th power to the 3 over 4 power, right? Because now these two things are multiplying, so I can just distribute the exponent. Right? That's pretty much what we can do. 4 times 3 over 4, we get 3. So this together, I'm going to write it down as x to the 3rd power, this to that. All right? And then I'm still going to keep this as how it is. I'm still going to write this as 1 plus x to the negative 4 raised to the 3 over 4 power, and then this is still dx. And then as you can see, this is the integral x squared times x to the third power is what? x to the fifth power, but it's in the denominator. I can bring up, right? Let me bring that up. It will be x to the negative 5. Similar strategy, as I told you. Inside, we have 1 plus x to the negative 4, and then raised to the 3 over 4 power, dx. And now what? You substitution. And let me just kind of divide the space. I'm going to let, let u to be the inside function right here. So let's say u is equal to 1 plus x to the negative 4. And let's speed this up. du is going to be negative 4x to the negative 5 dx and divide both sides by this. So we get dx equals to du over negative 4x to the negative 5. And then you see this is going to be the integral. On the top, we have x to the negative 5 over, inside here is u, u to the 3 over 4 power now. And then dx is that. So we can multiply by du over negative 4x to the negative 5. This and that cancel. And then let's integrate this. Bring the negative 1 over 4 to the front, and then we have the integral, and then this is in the denominator, on the top, just for 1, right? 1 over that, you, it's the same as u to the negative 3 over 4 power du. And how can we integrate this? Power rule backwards. So we add 1 first. Negative 3 fourths plus 1 is positive 1 fourth, and then divided by this new exponent, which is the same as multiply by 4 for 1. So we multiply by 4 over 1. All together, you see, 1 over 4, 4 over 1 cancel, but then we have that negative right here. Negative u to the 1 over 4 power, right? And then, <laughs> see, I just brought you guys closer. You guys can see this now. We are done because we finished all the integration steps, right? At the end, we know this is negative, and then the u is that. So let's open a parenthesis and put in 1 plus x to the negative 4, and then raised to the 1 over 4 power, you are done. What do we do? Put a plus c. If you prefer, write this as a fourth root of whatsoever. Sure, why not? But then, we are done. Cool, huh?